Hi everyone, uh, this is Kishore from appsdba.info. In the previous session, uh, we have installed uh, Oracle eBusiness in upgrade mode. So the installation is completed. Now what we are going to do is in the existing home, existing home, uh, we are going to apply the uh, ETCC related patches. This has been introduced in 12.2. This will verify what are the patches required and we need to apply those patches. You can always uh, verify uh, you know, the references notes been provided. The ETC patches is uh, the patch number is 1753719. Uh, uh, this is pretty old one. Uh, the reason why I'm using old one is uh, with the latest one, uh, you may not able to download the patches. Maybe in your company you can download, uh, but uh, you know, uh, just for this upgrade process, I'm using a two years old uh, ETC patches. But in the in your current environment, you, you have to always download the latest one. So what you need to do is you need to unzip this particular uh, utility. Uh, it's going to provide uh, two two files. One is the check db uh, patch dot sh and check empty patch dot sh. So we are going to run this uh, check db patch dot sh, and it will is going to tell us what are the patches to be applied, and we are going to apply one by one. I'll just show you uh, one patch and then you know it is it is of no use to run all of, almost all the patches are almost the same thing but uh, I'm going to show you one example the first thing is you unzip this particular patch right you know you just uh, you know the patch is available in this location so you basically you 173 right 175 and uh, so you'll get uh, two scripts so this patch we need to run Oops. before that we'll run the environment file So it is going to list all the patches what are what has to be applied. Yeah, so if you see this, these are the patches what we need to apply. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply these patches one by one. So these are the list of patches to be applied. And I have already downloaded the, those patches. Actually, you can even uh, download this consolidated patches. Uh, which will have all the patches to be applied. If you can see this is almost two years old, which is July 2018. The current latest one would be October 2021. So now uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to this particular location. So I'm going to, I have I, I have run this. This is basically validates uh, whether all the patches are been applied. And then the next step is we are going to apply this patch. Right in the silent mode, I'm applying. So no more question asked. In the same fashion, you have to apply all the uh, patches one, one by one. And I have already provided all the steps how you can apply. So you can just uh, apply those patches. Yes, so the patch is successful. So in the uh, in the same way, in the same in the same order, say exactly the order also should match because I have already tested them. So you directly can copy and paste because almost all them uh, all of the patches do, don't have any conflicts. So what you do, you next again, you know, just proceed the steps. Okay. So we'll just pause the session to complete all the patches and then we'll come back. Just I wanted to uh, make you remember that you know we need to go to the patch location and then apply. So for example, you know, you have to say one like this, you go to the patch and then you apply the patch. See, now then you apply the patch. So that is the way how you apply the patch. I have applied all the patches and at the end again, I can just verify whether either any discrepancy is available or not. So it is going to verify and uh, check whether any patches are applied and you can verify and see that almost all the patches issues there are no more patches pending now what you have to do going to do is you are going to start the database 
the listener and the database and we are going to run the the data patch those are all the post install steps so that one can be run by running this particular command so I'll just exit it and I will apply. so this will apply all the post install steps uh, so you can you can run one data patch and it is going to apply all the post install step all for all the patches what is been applied so let me pause this session well the data patch is successful and if you have seen that uh, the following post install patches for all of these patches have been applied successfully so the next step is uh, what we are going to do is we are going to check our time zone and if it is 10 we are going to make it 18 right it is 10 so I will show you how to apply a patch and uh, you know uh, so hopefully I have the patches here right so you can download this patch uh, DBMS DSD script uh, version 1.1 it should be available in support link so once you download that we can start applying the, the patches so we can just follow this step so I'll just connect uh, and run it that is the first step and we are going to run this and uh, we are going to run this so you can verify this node doc id 1585341.1 so which has all the steps and even including the downloading the uh, downloading the patch the next one is yeah so it is even shutting down and starting the upgrade let me pause the session so the patch is successful now let us verify whether the version has been upgraded or not by running this particular script yeah there you go uh, so you know now the version is uh, uh, 18 so which we, uh, we are good now so now what we'll do uh, we are going to connect uh, so remember we have installed the file system here and here you can go here you can find one environment file so this is your latest environment file so copy them into the home environment this is the 12.2 file system so run this now we don't need the 1213 environment files because that is of no use so now what you do you verify whether you are able to connect to 1212 database from your 12.2 12 file system wow excellent so if you see that I am able to connect uh, from the 12.2.2 which is the new file system from there I am able to connect to the 12.1.3 uh, database if you see the the release name it will be 12.1.3 so eventually we are going to upgrade it to 12.2 uh, but uh, yeah so so far it looks uh, good for us so those steps I have already mentioned so from 12.2 file system let's just uh, just verify you are able to log into 12.1.0.2 so I have provided all the steps for you so and also we have seen the release number if you want to take a backup you can take a backup so in this uh, session what you have done is we have applied all the yeah, patches required on our existing oracle not on the oracle on the new oracle you can remove the uh, new oracle home because we already have an existing oracle home you can uh, you can uh, the, there is a etcc patch uh, starting the number is 1753711 uh, i have used a two years old one but you can always download the latest one and uh, it will tell you what are the patches to be applied and you can apply those patches mm, so after the patches again you need to verify 
and again you need to verify and also after at the end of after that once the once it's successful you can start your database start the database and run the data patch and also you can update the uh, dst version which i provided the steps and uh, just verify from the current 12.2 whether you're able to connect to 12102 database and after that if you can take a, a backup so we'll proceed with the uh, next steps in the next session thanks for watching